Master Brutus, can I get a word? Master Brutus, uh, I think you know Minty's husband, John. He worked with me over at Thompson Mill. Of course I know him. I let him marry her. What's your point? Me and Minty, we thinking about having a family. And we want our babies bone free. So we hired a lawyer that <laughs> made it clear that. You hired a lawyer. Man, what the hell is this talking about? Well, sir, what we're talking about is the last wishes of your great granddaddy, Adolf Patterson. He gave my wife writ to your mama as a child. But she's supposed to be free to 45. She's 57 now. Well, you got this, Will? Got a letter from the lawyer, sir. Hey, he said it clear. My mama was 46 when you sold my sisters. Lawyers say that illegal. We all supposed to be free when she turned 45. My sisters is lost to us, but John and me, we, we want our babies born free like they supposed to be. You listen here, girl. Your daddy may be free. And your husband, too. But you, and your mama, and your brothers and sister, they belong to me for life. And your babies will belong to me, and their babies will belong to me. Do you understand me? You're the devil! You're the devil, and his brothers! You sold my daughter south when nobody know their name. Come on, now. John. My babies. You and Ben ain't welcome here no more. You stay away from my slaves. Now get off my porch. Come on. You, I would have sold that girl a long time ago. My master is an evil man, Lord. You know he's evil. If you can't change his soul, take him. Take him, Lord. Strike my master down. Lord, don't listen to Minty. Now, I've been telling you that since we were kids. Since the time I had typhoid as a boy. Mama had you sipping me. The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was your little black face praying. It scared the fever right out of me. Now, I got used to your face. But that praying... I always made my skin crawl. What the were you thinking hiring a lawyer? You think daddy would just let you all go free? Near half his property? Just like that? He warned me. Boy, having a favorite slave is like having a favorite pig. Now you can feed it. You can play with it. Give it a name. One day, you might have to eat it or sell it. You know it, and the pig knows it. And if you have to sell it, there's no more guilt in separating piglets. And if you have to eat it, you'll forget his name. I hope one day I forget yours. I'm on. Come on, I said.
Yeah.